bad. Right. And so you have to alter your events right. sometimes because oh my God. <laughs> this right. kind of stuff. Right. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, you throw something and somebody want to invite somebody to your situation. You like, it was already too big when you came through. Or how about oh. you want me to come to your event knowing that you really don't like me and you just want me there. Like, yeah, yeah. Happy yeah. fake faces. It, it happens every Christmas. It happens every Christmas, every Thanksgiving. I don't know. What? That happened a lot in my family, and it ain't even a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm serious. Like, it's it's bad. Like, yeah. you have something. Maybe I couldn't. I couldn't make it. I, it's not that I didn't want to come. I just couldn't make it. Right. So now, when I'm having something, you're you're on a borderline of uh, am I going or if I'm not. But if you do choose to go. Happy fake face. Now you there. Yeah. It's like I'm only here yeah. to see what's going on, but I'm fake smiling, but I'm I'm hating at the yeah. same time. I'm really you know taking inventory. Yeah, I'm taking inventory. Yeah. Yeah. I don't listen. Do you think this is something we've learned culturally? Like my family, like what? honestly, my family is not good right now. But if we had a dinner tomorrow, like everybody, everybody be there. <laughs> we got we we got condition to put the happy face, face on be on there. the plantation. And then we'll leave and slam what you got. Now you know she shouldn't have brought that macaroni and cheese. That and macaroni made cheese it to the cul-de-sac. Then she walked up in there and you see girl, you see her hair. She didn't even get. We, I mean. It, it's a cycle. It's like juggling. It's we we constantly do it, and it's something that needs to be broken. And I feel like I feel like we gotta tie back in that whole Christ-like thing. Like it, it, we we gotta it's uh, we gotta stop. I went what? from I went from having a big. I come from a big family, especially on my father's side, and on my grandmother's side. She kept us all together, and my grandmama left, and we all just faded away. So I went from being around so much family to now, I spend holidays with just my husband and my mother, his mother, my kids. And ain't what we desire? No. But here's the thing, though. I'm not dimming my light no more so you, you, you don't feel uncomfortable in your darkness. I work hard to I, I work hard to burn bright. I work hard to build a family, to rebuild my name in redemption, and build every man and woman that I come across. My name is good. I'm not gonna keep bowing down, man, trying to appease people because they feel like they have a right to what I am and who I am and what I've done. Because in my darkest times, man, what no you wasn't there. You ain't chip in. Come in, you leave. Bag full, but you don't bring nothing in. I'm done with that, man. And I'm okay. I'm finally okay with not walking in fear that this person gonna leave or this person. Say what you want to say about Kendall, man. My mama told me something back in the day that really stuck with me. She said, "Your circle of drama it will never be as big as your circle of influence." The circle of people that's talking about you, son. She said it won't even reach to have impact because God has a bigger calling on your life. And me and my wife, man, we just been sitting back because we've been taking these blows, man. We've been, we've been blue taking these hits. People blue. expect us to jump up there, but you won't jump up there for me. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you want us to 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 bow down to your blueprint, but have no desire to even ask us how our blueprint is going. No, but I'm not it, doing and guess that what? No if more. you ask them why you didn't ask me, there's an excuse for that too. So you got to get. We're at a place, yeah. and I'm suggesting. This to anybody that's watching and you're dealing with this same thing with your family members, you have to get to that place where you just allow people to be people. Allow them to be who they are. And begin to like, I, I suggest you, you pray over your family, cover your family, and you suggest therapy for your family. If they call you, introduce them to your counselor. If they call, they call. If they don't, they don't. But that's the only way it's going to get broken because a lot of our families, we were raised up, nobody believed in counseling in my family. What they used to tell you, Dorica, you better what? You better pray. You better pray about it. <laughs> you better pray about it. But as I got older, I realized that prayer works, but hold up, I need to go sit and I need to talk to somebody. And I can I can let all this out and I can leave here and, and not feel so heavy. I know that you I can talk to God about it, but I, I kind of need somebody to talk back. 
I need to sit with somebody and, and, and somebody who's went to school for this or studied for this and have passed these tests that I'm going through and can kind of like help me along the way. A lot of times also in families, the person who kind of like makes the most money or who, who's accomplished certain things in their life, that person takes the most hits. Like hit after hit after hit after hit because everybody thinks you should fix it. Here's the thing. You 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 beat the odds and the circumstances, and you overcome every statistic, statistic, big lip problem, and every obstacle that was set before you, and you you climb to the mountaintop and you get there, and you want to help people, but what people don't realize is just like how you call me Uncle John John, Aunt Jane Jane called me too, and little Billy called me too, and little Ray Ray called me too. Like Drake said, you ain't the only one trying to be the only one. It becomes too much. It becomes too much. That's what I said. You know, I got people that I maybe like worked with me years ago, and I hear somebody say they upset with you. I'm like, why? It's like you don't call them. I'll be like, hell, how? Why? Here's my thing. I tried to show you an example when you was around me and I loved on you and I respected you. But what happened was there was a piece of your life that was broken and you latched on to me and you felt like I needed to be there at all times. No, I'm on a journey, baby. I'm walking. I got somewhere to go. I got a lot of people to meet. I can't take all of y'all with me, but I can when you're in my presence show you what a light and what a Christian godly woman looks like. That means I'm going to speak to you in a proper way. That means if you need me, I'll be there while, we, while we're doing whatever we're doing I'm there but when this when this season is over for us don't walk away from me and you've been mad for me with me for 15 years because I ain't called you do you know how many people I've met that ain't about calling it ain't about relationship it's it's people looking and seeing something that they want to uh, uh, attain and instead of putting their hand to the plow they put their finger to the anointed and it just happens it is what it is oh, Christ wow. said only in his hometown, you know, only in his hometown is a priest with our honor. So I want to make sure I summarize this so that this is clearly understood and not misconstrued in any kind of way. We love the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have thrown, I can't imagine what you did before we met. Because I, cause I came in your life and I brought the spirit of a budget. I brought the spirit of a mighty budget. So, <laughs> I, what I did was what I was trying to buy Because y'all know you love. would throw some, I, I've heard about some parties you thrown. I say that to say we have always been willing and open to do the hosting, the setting up, the catering, the decorating, the paying for the whole nine yards. But we have reached a place that honesty and sincerity and genuineness means more to us and we also realize that when it's the right thing you don't need as much you you it, it's truly about quality over quantity and so we're not telling you to you know what i listen to the taylor talk i ain't going to see my grandma no, no. that's not what we're saying no. what we're saying is be courageous enough and love yourself enough um, to be able to have whatever honest conversation first with yourself. Yeah. Make sure that you're not projecting, deflecting, and, and your expectations aren't realistic or misaligned. Then have the right and, and, and needed conversations with the people involved so that when you do come together, it can be a spirit of harmony that's in spirit of in truth. That's what we're saying. And we're saying we, we've done it on both paradigms. When we've been Steve Harvey co-hoster, and we've also spent holidays where we just sat here, just me and my wife, and we had a pretty amazing time. Because I, I, I to back off what you said, he said what he said, and I'm saying. <laughs> I like that. That's that. Uh, <laughs> that's that disclaimer. <laughs> I'm saying if you tried all of that, and you tried, and you tried, and you tried, and you tried, sometimes. You just have to let it be. You have to lose the win. So we can open it up. You know, I want to say one more time, shout out to Facebook. Thank you for giving us the faith to jump <laughs> and follow the the, the, the the Holy Spirit instead of your algorithm. But you know what? Actually, y'all doing what y'all did. Let us know that Taylor, Taylor Talk has the bandwidth where we can go as a community and go somewhere else and continue somewhere. to grow and learn together. So we're not mad at you, Facebook. We're just playing with you. We, we really thank you because you really just let us know it's time to go because God closes the doors that no man can open. And when you close the door, it forces us to go left. And so left is where the Father is, and that's the only place we want to be. So, um, Come on, son. You trying to preach this sermon or what? I would never be a preacher. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I get into that whole thing. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Oh, no. Let's go. Any <laughs> questions? Open it up. Yeah. I, I got asked to come and speak somewhere one time, and, and I was the only person who was not a preacher, pastor, bishop, whatever the case may be. And, 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 I, and I appreciate, um, you know, the gentleman who invited me because he fully understood. And, and another person had asked me, did I want to go through the process of becoming ordained before I spoke? And I said, you show me in the scripture why I have to be ordained. And I would do it. Hey, I look at it like this. Christ was different from them all. Christ was in places they just, oh, they couldn't believe he was. So I believe he's raising up a new generation. New generation. Yeah. And we go I by do. the scriptures, not what they say, nothing's more powerful than man's needless traditions. Some of these things are traditions, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But nah, nah. Different time, different generation, Facts. and we kept breaking through this whole religion thing. I, you know, I've, I see people, I've heard people, they used to say it to me on stage, how can you love God? And you da, 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 da. I'm like, wow, so many. This is ministry. Yeah, but you know, we, we, we live in a world where there's so many, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm. Go ahead, you got it? What, what you know what I'm looking for? It's, hip, it's hypocrites. Judging and hypocrites. Yeah. Because they're judging, telling you how you folks to do it. But let me come in your house for a minute. Let me set up a camera for a week. This is my thing. Rock. If you are still full of confusion and sowing discord, and if you can get off your phone and talk about people, you know people, you're no more of a woman than God than I am. Get that plank out your eye for you talk about my splinter. Sweep around. Okay, come on, babe. We gotta stop now. Come on, D. What you got? Derricus. Okay. <laughs> that is my microphone, by the way, and I want it back. And let me get one right now. I don't have it. Okay. So I'm going to jokingly. I don't know. Oh, it's all good. This ain't got no lipstick on it. I was like, okay. He got my mic now. I gave it to him. Okay, go ahead. This first question is pertaining to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jokingly ask this first question, and I think y'all will get the point. Um, yeah, so, you, 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 okay, you brought me something to eat. Okay, you paid for dinner one time. All right, you got my head up. How much do you owe somebody for doing something for you? You know, it's just kind of like somebody do something. It's like you, get, you, you owe people your life for just maybe they, how much? How much do I have to pay you to get out of this? <laughs> And that's the sad part because if you if 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 I love you, I, I, I you don't owe me anything, right? Like you don't owe me anything, and those are people who are doing things and they have an agenda, and you gotta watch that. I'm careful now who I let do something <laughs> for me. I'll be like, uh, you know what? I'm straight. Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm have good. You, have you really ever had they be insistent too. No, no, no. Like, I, I can't. Like, I Especially be careful for the ones that come to you, and the first thing they say is. God told me that he's like, you don't even know me. Now, why would God send you to do every week? God sending you to do something for me. Come on now. Are you doing something for me? And I try to pay you and you say, God told me to give it to you. Watch those kind of people. Because next month, next year, they're going to be going around telling people you don't pay them. God told me you're supposed to pay me back. <laughs> I'm for real, I've ran into that situation before. And it, ooh, it made my blood boil. Oh, no, man, nothing but love. See, don't and, pay you. I'm like, you know, do, do, do you know how much? I can show <laughs> you the checkbook. We had to insist because I don't take nothing from nobody for free because ain't nothing for free. You know how I get down. You shall be paid. Everybody that know Kendall Taylor knows that you shall be paid. Cause they try. I say it all the time. You be like, babe. I say, what, we had. What was we talking about the other day? What I saying the name? It's just we were talking about something the other day, and you was like, no, no, no. I said, no, nah, we're gonna pay them. It was, it was. Uh, you talk, you sure you talking to me? Cause you know I'm, I'm the. If it ain't true, you got a fine twin out here. Hey, she hell. That's funny because the uh, I want to say it was a release party at label. Is that the one you set up? Christmas. Was that Christmas? Yeah, yeah, Might have yeah, been yeah, Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway. You know, I DJ, so Kendall comes up, he's like, nice, I got to take care of you. I was like, no, you don't. Bruh, I got to take care of you. I said, bruh, no, you don't. Bruh, I got to take care of you. I said, Kendall, where is this at? She in the car. Well, go and go to the car, man. Like, we good. 
man, you sure, man? That's, bro, we're good, bro. Like, but I get it. Yeah. Because, like you say, somebody will walk around and be like, man, yeah. I did this event for them, man, and they just was like, duck me out or something. They'll be quick to do that. Yeah. So I just be like, you know, I, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. That's insurance. I'd rather pay my insurance so you can, because people want to guilt trip you, and I like to step over that. So when somebody does something for me, I either t- I tip big or I'm going to throw something. I don't care what it is because I don't, I don't ever want it to come back because people assume, not even knowing our real condition or whatever, but people assume that we are a certain way and we move a certain way, and we hate that because that's the opposite of who we are. But it's like I also, and my wife saying, well, we have to protect ourselves at the same time. And sometimes you just have to put up that fence of insurance and pay it so nobody can lower Pretty anything much, over your head. You have to know who your people are. And for me, like, I know my people. Like, one thing about it, two things for sure, that man right there behind that camera, he has always taken good care of me. But he knows for a fact that I got his back. I don't care what it is. Can I I'm, cash out tonight? <laughs> 